All right, this is section 4.0. We're going to use counting using the fundamental counting rule, count using factorial rules, and then look at combinations. And So a thief steals an ATM card and must randomly guess the, course, the correct five-digit pin code from a 10-key keypad. Repetitions of digits is allowed, meaning you could use the same number twice, three times, and so on. What is the probability of a correct guess? Well, the fundamental counting theorem states that the first can occur m ways, the next n ways, and so on. So because there's five digits, one, two, three, four, five, and a 10 key keypad, meaning 10 different ways each one with this counting theorem, we just simply multiply 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, or 10 to the fifth power, and that gives 100,000 ways. However, the probability they've asked for, this just gives the number of ways, but there's only one correct code out of the 100,000 different possibilities that you could have. So your probability would be one out of 100,000. The this symbol right here that most of you are used to saying it's an exclamation point, but in statistics this means factorial and to multiply from the value shown. So for example, if you see 6 factorial, that means start at this number and multiply all the way down until you get to 1. But if you had, say, 100 factorial, I don't think you want to sit and multiply all those down, so you certainly want to learn how to on your calculator, if I want to find, say, 6 factorial, I go ahead and type in 6, then I press the math button, and I arrow over to where it says PRB for probability, and then I arrow down to where I see the factorial symbol. I press Enter, and you'll see it shows up there, and then you'll get your actual answer of 720. If you know the names of the remaining 11 students in the spelling bee, what is the probability of randomly selecting an order and getting the order that is actually the number of different permutations as order counts, so the order that they go in is found with factorial 11. We had 11 students, 11 factorial, so we get 39,916,800. Again, the probability that you get exactly their order. There's one way to get the correct order, so one out of the number of possible ways. Permutations, you may see them written like this, 46 with a big P for permutation, 3, which means you have 46 total objects and you're taking three at a time. Permutations are used when order combinations use the letter C, where it's the same 46 objects taken at a time, but order does not matter. So this might be a race that people finish, um, where first, second, third place, the order would matter. This might just be how many different ways you can put books on a bookcase, and you don't care the order of the case. So find the probability of winning a lottery. Maybe this will make you not play the lottery. With this following rule, select the five winning numbers from 1 through 31 in any order, but in the Remember to find the probabilities. You will find the number of ways the outcome you are looking for can occur divided by the total number of a So in other words, this would be the number of ways you can win the lottery divided by the number of combinations of numbers. How, how many different combinations? Certainly you know this is a combination because if you can imagine to win the lottery, if not only you had to get the correct numbers, you had to get the correct order, the little balls pop out, um, that would be a huge, you know, difference in the probability. This, it doesn't matter the order. So this would... So what I do is I use this formula where n factorial divided by n minus r, that should be an r, factorial times r factorial. So what this does, this will give me the number of combinations I can pick. n is my total number of numbers in this case. And there's 
So 31 factorial divided by 31 minus 5 factorial times 5 factorial. There's a little trick with these that you don't have to do all the way the factorials because you can get to a point where if I do 31 to 26 factorial, that canceled. And then I could sit here and cancel things like that. Cancels to 6. I could cancel my 3 into the 27 to get 9. I mean, so you could do you could do some things to cancel this a little bit and then get your actual number. But again, this is good to know the actual formula, but I wouldn't do it this way. Um, even working this way, canceling numbers out, it's easy to do this. So you certainly want to use your calculator. You may have noticed this when we were looking at the factorial. So do the same thing. I type in the number total number of ways first, press the math button, arrow over to probability, arrow down to NCR, and notice the NPR if you need to do permutations right above it, and then type 5, the number, this is your R value, and press enter, final answer. Okay, so again, remember this is the actual number of ways, but there's only one way to win the lottery, so the difference if they're asking you how many ways can you choose 31 numbers, that's this, but what's the probability you choose those? That's the fraction, one over the total number of ways. But definitely get where you remember um, where this is in your calculator to be able to do permutations, combinations, and factorials.